Hello, Mr. So and So here. Um, today I want to show you how to get the Adept, Expert and Master weapon titles where you have to kill a certain amount of humans um, in order to get title points and therefore being able to obtain prestige points and improve your uh, stats and perks. So um, first, before I show you the mission that we are uh, going to use, let's have a look at our equipment. So. Um, most important thing is that you either use Toshi's Abacus from the Master of Spears uh, Metaza set. So you can either use a Yazakani Magatama, which reduces your set bonus requirements by one, and then you only need to use the Abacus. And that is because you have 90% faster movement speed after killing an enemy. That helps a lot with uh, farming here. Alternatively, or in addition, depending on what you have, we also want to have a look at one of the soul cores that we can be using and that will be the Kasha soul core that's the lady with the Beyblade attack basically so you can see here that we have faster movement speed on Amrita absorption so in that case I'll be us uh, using both but depending on what you have um, you can use either or and also Toshi's, uh, Toshi's Abacus doesn't have to be uh, the divine one. You can, of course, use any drop that you've gotten so far. So, um, the mission we are using will be on easy, of course, Dream of the Samurai in the first area. And we will be using the Beast Born of Smoke and Flames. So, let's get into the mission. And important thing is that we first have to um, to clear the area and open a shortcut and um, kick down one of the ladders and then I can show you the farming route that we use. So there will be 15 en um, enemies and it takes roughly one and a half minutes to do that run. So um, I am also buffing with poison here just to farm some proficiency points for ninjutsu, but that is not mandatory. So basically, I'll show you the enemies that we kill here. So those were the first two, then there will be one here, there will be one dropping from here. That makes four. Then. We have two here, one here, makes six. Then we have to kick down the ladder here. We're going to be using that later for our farming route. Now that makes seven, eight and nine, ten. 11 and 12, one dropping here. Thirteen. Fourteen and then there's fifteen. Now here's the shortcut that we want to open and then it's right back to the shrine and I can show you the exact route that we are going to take. Um, I will apply the buff at the beginning and then after climbing to the rooftop one more time but again that is not mandatory. Now we start here with these two We take this one, we wait for this guy to drop. We kill these two guys here. And then, not yet taking the ladder. If you wait here for a moment, you can kill both with one attack combo. Climb up here, this is where I reapply the buff. There's the archer. There is another archer here, so we're gonna block. Now if you, depending on how, how quick you are, if you wait here, you can kill both of them with one attack. 
Then there's this guy. On to the archer. So that makes number 15 and back to the shrine where you pray in order to reset all the enemies. Just hitting circle to make it quick. And back to the start. So that's basically it. That's 15 enemies in roughly one um, uh, one and a half minutes. And you you don't have to use the buffs, but of course you can use Onmyo and Ninjutsu buffs just to form uh, to farm proficiency while doing so. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye bye.